Hello guys, welcome to Gavin's Cooking Show. What I'm going to teach you guys today is how to cook a cauliflower cheese. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the tools I'll be using. So what I've got here is just a nice big saucepan to nicely spread out my cauliflower and broccoli. Also with a lid so it helps it cook a little bit faster okay obviously you're going to need a cheese grater to cook your uh, to grate your cheese ready to go on top of the cauliflower and broccoli also I've got a knife I like to use to chop with this to chop the onion because it gives me a lot of bit of room a lot of bit of space but we we'll all get some knives and stuff like that as we go along the video But well, we also got a jug because we need to measure out right, the milk what needs to go to make the sauce for the cauliflower cheese. So it's always good. Don't want to leave some standby. You don't need to get a glass one. You can get a you can get like a plastic one. They use your clutch it to pick up. You can usually pick them up for about fifty p now. Oh, but I'll explain a little bit about that when we go do some shopping, and I'll explain a bit of tools and cheap. Stuff little tools you can buy so if you guys can't afford some of the tools okay so we also got a chopping board the greens what we have got is what i showed you on the last video was the package of the cauliflower and the cheese we're going to need obviously milk you can use any sort of milk you guys want you know that so the blue top is basically like the full fat, the green top is like the middle, and the, and the red top has got no fat in it at all. So it depends on how you guys like it, how you guys taste it. Obviously the sauce will taste a little bit different on things on which milk you guys use. It's not going to be a little bit much, it means if you use like the red top it's going to be more healthy for you and stuff like that because you're going to have less fat in Okay guys. So what we're going to get started on is, okay guys, so what I've done is i put it into my saucepan now. And what you need to do is you need to wash the veg. Because it is important to wash it because you don't know how it's been handled. You don't know who's touched it and what's happened on the journey. Okay, but before I put this into the, into the saucepan, the most important thing you guys have got to do first before you actually wash it is wash your hands. Okay? They say wash your hands for about two minutes just to get rid of all the germs off your hands. Okay? So make sure you scrub your hands before you actually start washing or preparing food. Okay? Because what we're going to do is we're going to wash this, these veg, but what we guys don't want to do is when we wash the hands, it's put more germs onto the actual thing itself, onto the actual food itself. So what it is, we're going to move over to the sink. And all I'm going to do is use cold water. Sweat it round by using your hands so all the veg get nice and wet and goes under the tap. under the tap to be washed. Tap off, sweet round, sweet round for a few minutes. You can now use a drainer to drain the water off because that's what we need guys need to do now is drain the water off. Okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my hands, I'll fetch his hands. Give it a squeeze at the same time any sort of stuff that's in there should come out then all I'm going to do okay is fill it back up with cold water if cold water wants to come out that's all I'm going to do 
Hein? Strong the hands off of it. For you guys, I am just going to go and grab some salt. Okay? Just for a little bit of seasoning. And all it does, it helps break down all the stuff in the veg to help it cook a little bit quicker. Okay, let's cook something this size. It all depends on what gas. If you've got a gas cooker, electric cooker, or what cooker you guys have got, okay? And I think some of these packaging, if you guys pick up the packaging, you can cook in the microwave. I think that takes about five minutes to six minutes. It depends on which one you guys get. Just check the packaging before you actually start cooking it. Okay. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the gas onto the cooker. Okay, so that's on now. I'm going to transfer my pot and put it onto the gas. And that's going to take roughly about 10 minutes to 15 minutes to cook. Okay, make sure you put the lid on. But what you guys don't want to do is put the lid on just like that. So what I need to do is put it up a tiny bit and that will fence it from bubbling over. Okay. When for that to start bubbling, and it should take about 10 minutes to cook. Okay guys, so before that is cooking on the gas or electric, whatever got whatever you guys are cooking on. Okay, what we can do is repair what is actually going to go together with it. Okay, so what the only thing you're gonna need is your knife. Depends on what you guys like to use chopping with, some like to use that, but it's a little bit smaller. Okay. Before we start chopping, the most important thing is, is before you start using your knife, is to sharpen it just in case it's a little bit blunt, just in case you used it before. So what I'm going to do is going to start where the throat of the knife is, I'm going to keep my fingers away from the blade, and all I'm going to do is go down with the knife, okay? Then we're going to do the same thing underneath, and go down again, okay? I'll do that once more for you. Down, cross, down. Do it slow if you guys have you've done it for like the first time or you're not really comfortable doing it, okay? So I'll do that quickly. Once you've done that a few times, what you guys are going to do is you're going to turn the knife. Okay, all you're going to do is right down, and what that does is when you sharpen it, what it's doing, you take a little shards off the blade, okay, so make it thinner. So all you're doing is taking off, if there's any excess stuff on it, okay, and the excess metal. Make sure you put that away, out of the way. If you guys haven't got something like that, don't worry about it. Just be careful when you're chopping. You know, it starts, the knife starts to struggle. Don't try and force it, okay? That's when you start getting cuts and you start injuring yourself, okay? So I'm going to spray a little bit about a knife. That is the pointy end. So what you guys use is to stab stuff with that or pick stuff out with that end. Okay, a lot of the blade. That part there is called the throat, okay? The throat of the blade is what actually holds the knife and the handle in place, okay? The sharpest part on the knife is where the, where the start of the blade, where the throat is, okay? That's the sharpest part of the blade. All the others are sharp, okay? With this knife, this knife will cut through bone as well. Okay, so it is pretty good for knife to use. Okay, so with this knife, what you don't want to do is when you guys are chopping, is I will also say before, is people chopping like that on the blade. Okay, when you look at things on the blade and do that, as it goes down, can you see it's putting pressure, it put pressure on my fingers and slots. I think it's okay, so always make sure 
at your hand. You see your palm, wrap your fingers round, wrap your thumb across, or rest your thumb on top of the spine of the knife. Okay? Just rest there, it gives you that little bit of extra pressure, and when you're chopping, okay? Don't do that. That's the reason when these knives like that, so they have like that, so you can rest your finger on like that to stop you guys from putting actually onto the blade itself. It's sharp, okay? So just be careful when you guys are using a knife. Make sure you're using a sharp knife. If you're out there, please be careful and stuff like that. So it's a little bit about the knife we're going to be using today. So what we're going to do first, guys, is we're going to chop the onion first, okay? Typical oil. So what we need guys need to do with the onion is we need to peel this off, the skin of the onion. Okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to get the knife with the sharpest part. And all I'm going to do is cut down the onion and slice it away from it. As you can see, they split up into two. Some people will cut their ends off. To make it easier for them for them to get the skin off okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to peel it off without doing that if you guys can see okay so it takes a lot of extra time for that then we the other one I'm just trying to do that one quickly for you guys. So all I'm going to do, put them to the side and just brush that over out of the way. Because then you guys are left with this. Okay? Where the screen has been took off off the onion okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to move pull this to one side and then we're going to start preparing and dicing our onions so all i'm going to do is go sideways keeping my fingers away from the knife and all i'm going to do is slice down towards away from me as i'm doing it i'm making fingers i'm making just make sure you have to rotate, just to make it safer so your fingers don't, so you don't chop your fingers, okay? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut that off, pull that to one side, then all I'm going to do is go down, chop little chunks, if I can get it. And then what I'm doing is creating a little less mess, a little less mess, so I'm using more of the onion. Uh, so I've chopped all my onions guys, so, that, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the onion out of the way. So I'm going to put it on a plate. So I'm going to put that on a plate so it's out of the way. And you guys. Okay. So that's our onions chopped. Next thing we guys are going to do. Sorry guys, just getting rid of the uh, excess onions, what's on here. We're going to move the knife. What you guys do first is just wash your knife. First, dry it and put it away. Okay? If you guys put it in a sink and it's filled with water, you forget it's in there and you don't see it, you can obviously cut yourself. Okay, so make sure you wash your knife first. So I'm just going to move that out of the way because I'm not going to put it in the sink. I'm going to wash it up in a minute. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my grater. Okay, I'm going to hold the grater at the top. Obviously she usually comes to an handle, but unfortunately the handle's broke off guys, I need to go and get a new one, so it just broke yesterday when I was using it. 
grab my cheese, I'm going to keep my hands away because the grater and I'm just going to move it up and down so it starts grating and it'll start grating cheese will be nice and set as I go through the video, I'm going a little bit too fast for you guys just pause the video, do what you need to do and then just unpause it see if I'm learning something new that's what I do, and I go a little bit too fast for me I'll just pause the video and then I'll go when I've done that, then I'll replay it so I'll see what I'm going to do next but what I'm going to do with you guys is I'm going to put it all in the description of what you guys need to do what you need to do is what, is, is, uh, what you guys need to uh, have the ingredients and stuff for you and well, at the end I'm going to go through the costs and how much everything cost so all I'm going to do is keep my hands nice and flat so you don't grate thing oh I can do that one <laughs> I'm <sorry. laughs> ok so that's done I'm just going to hold it underneath put it on a plate what happens, it all, when it's all in there, it sticks together. So all going to chat, all going to have a grass all up. And then, put it all onto a plate. And let's see, cheese, great it, guys. Okay, next thing we guys going to do is, I'm going to move that out of the way. Is I'm going to get the jug. So now we guys got our, our jug ready. We've got this here. The packaging to do the sauce to go over our cauliflower and broccoli. Before we go ahead, I just want to have a little chat with you guys. Some people can just use, you can just use cauliflower. Just because they call cauliflower bag basically. But I add the cauliflower and broccoli together, more veg, makes it look a little bit more better and it tastes a little bit more better as well. Depends how you guys like it, how you guys want to cook. Okay? There's no wrong way, there's no wrong way. Okay? This serves four people. And you can do it in 10 minutes. Okay, so you need a jug. It's filled this to 300 milligrams of milk. So I've got my milk here. Da -da -da -da. Milk's just there for you guys. So what we're doing is we're up for milligrams. That's liters. Don't want liters, do we? Oh, there's my litres, sorry. So I'm going to fill it up. You guys can see. Roughly about there. You can see where that line is, where my finger is. Oh, we're going to fill it up to there. So I'm going to fill it up, 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 fill it up. And uh, stop. And while I drop for luck. So you guys can see there, it starts wobbling, and it's up to 300 milligrams. That's it. Okay, so what the paper looks like is this just here, what's in this bowl here. Okay, that's how much it is. It's basically the dump cheese in there. So paper stuff for your shot, kind of hard cheese. Okay, so when we want to get ready to do that. So what we guys have just done is prepped, ready to cook. Because if you don't prep ready for your meals, then you're going to stress, panic, and run around like head does chicken, trying to prepare everything when it needs to be in there already. So when you've got everything done, all you need to do is just grab it, put it in, grab it and it's there, ready. 
Now, if you accidentally forgot to repair something, then you can unlock it, don't worry, you know, all the other stuff and sit all together and cook it. Okay, guys. So, we're going to put this in the fridge for now. Waiting for the cauliflower cheese to cook, which should be too long, should be about five minutes left on it. And you don't take long to prep it at all. So, good luck with that, guys. Just remember, if I'm going a little bit too fast for you guys, and that because some of you might be slower than me, some of you might be quicker than me, you never know. Just make sure you guys just take your time. Just pay, there's no rush, just pause the video and there's no rush for you guys to do it, okay? You get quicker as time goes on and as you learn. Okay. okay guys, so what we've done is I need to check this. Usually I'll check it on the um, the gas when it's on the oven on the app. So I'm gonna take this off. As I've got everything ready, so I've got my dryer ready if it's done. So I'm gonna just put the lid on one side. I'm gonna get a fork. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke it with a fork to make sure it's nice. That's Nice and soft. Then went too soft. Okay. So that is done. And the fork's going through it nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fork down. I'm going to carry it nice and carefully because don't forget the water is hot. I'm just going to rest it on there. What I don't want to do is put it towards me because it's going to scold me and burn me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow and gently put it into the drainer. Nice and slowly. Nice and slow. Careful, give it a nice little shake a little bit. So I might fall in the sink, that's absolutely fine, it was nice and clean. Now I'm going to move that out of the way and put that back on the oven. Turn the gas off because I don't need the gas on no more. Get all I'm going to do is just be careful. Nice to use a bit of drainer but I haven't got one at the moment. I'm just going to pick it up, give it a little strike, put it on the side. I'm going to let that, leave that for about three to five minutes just so that all the water drains off it what's left over. Okay guys, so now it's time to do the sauce. To get prepared sauce to do our cauliflower cheese. Okay, so I've got the saucepan, a little saucepan here. I'm going to use this hot here, it's small. It shouldn't take them too much heat. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to, first one I'm going to do, sorry guys, is put the uh, gas on, we want some light. Let's make sure that's on properly. There we go. We've got some flame now. So I'm going to leave it on a high heat. I'm going to put the sauce on top of it. Let the pan warm up just for a few seconds. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my milk, I'm going to pour my milk into the saucepan, move that over to one side, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my powder, what I showed you guys earlier, the package we're going to use, it's absolutely load of packages out there you can use, so experiment which one you guys like, I haven't tried this one before so this is new for me. Just going to put that in, put the bowl to one side, and then all I've got is a wooden spoon. If it's a wooden spoon or a whisk, or just a normal spoon, all I'm going to do is mix it, the powder into the milk. That's all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep stirring it and stirring it for about five to ten minutes. 
So we'll stop stirring for, for a sec, just let the heat get into the sauce. So you can put a little bit of salt for a little bit of extra taste. Just all of it go. Just keep stirring. And what I'm looking for, is that me, it is a bit watery. So what all I'm looking for, so the sauce needs to thicken up. The nice thickness will all want. Just keep stirring it till it's nice and thick. Okay, well, there goes. So what I'm looking for now is starting to thicken up now. If you guys can see, it's down it. The more you cook it, the more thick it will get. If you've got a gas cooker, sometimes you might have to take it off. Um, let's cook it off and it's just, uh, just to control the heat of what you guys want. Okay? There, it's nice and thick. I'm going to show you using this. That's lovely and thick. Some people have it less thicker than that. Some people, you know, it just depends on how you want it. It's nice and cooked. So that's took me about five minutes. To eight minutes to cook that. Now let's cook it. So as it is, so it's lovely done. So I turn the gas off to stop it cooking. Okay. Okay, guys. So I've come back to where I've got my cauliflower cheese drain off. So I've cut the sauce. That's all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in the sauce so I've got it in my saucepan, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to get the onions, you can do it in your baking tray if you want, that sort of size baking tray is what you guys are going to need, okay, depends on how many you guys are cooking for, cooking would certainly need less portions and a smaller baking tray, okay, so you guys are not cooking too much and we're not wasting food. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the onions in. You can't add, move that out of the way, because we've got a bit of skin on. I think we need a skin. So I'm going to put all that in. I'm just going to get a wooden spoon. Because I'm going to use that anyway, so it saves on the washing up. All I'm going to do is just move it around. Spread up, spread it up a little bit, okay? Now what I'm going to do, guys, if I can find it, there we go, sorry about the that guys, is I'm going to move to like that, but don't need that anymore, so I'm going to move that out of the way, it's like your side guys. I'm just going to get a tin of sweet corn. You can use frozen, but you've got to cook it a little bit first. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to drain it off. You guys can see that. I'm just going to pull the tin back. There we go. I'm just going to tip that in. I'm just going to do it with just study and stuff like that. But I thought I'd add some sweet corn, a little bit extra veg. Because uh, my son don't like eating fish, so I thought if I add more in, it sort of hides it from me, we don't usually notice. So, just mix that up a little bit. God doesn't matter because you're going to whack that in there, and it'll all mix that up in as well when you put it in. I'm just going to grab the sauce, just going to use that, tip it over, just try not to use for so long. Then you start running skate on top of it. So I'm just going to put that in. Make sure you use it all. Put that in the sink. And all I'm going to do is mix all that in. A little bit quick for you guys. This is my wife's favourite dish, I think, is it, though? All of your dishes are, are, are nice, but no, this one has got to be my favourite. 
Now all I'm going to do is put that on the side and all I'm going to do is just tip it in, just do it nice and gently. I'm just trying to rush it a little bit so I'm not taking too long for all you guys. So I will make it interesting, but you watch me do the same thing, no one knows again for a long time. You'll probably find that a bit boring. So all the sauce is mixed in. You can thin that in and off, you can do a little bit more sauce if you want. You can add your herbs in, but I'll go through that a little bit later days. So what I can do is I'll add some herbs in. Get some mixed herbs, if you guys see that. These are quite cheap to pick up, they usually about a pound. Some days is less. We sprinkle it over the top. So a little bit of sprink, sprinkle over the top. Some places you can get cheaper, some places you can just go shop around. And some places are better for herbs, some places you don't really taste as great. Okay, so now it's just time to add the cheese in. Okay, so all I'm going to do is put it a little bit closer to me. You guys see that? Yeah. Just grab a handful, and all I'm going to do is just spread the cheese around. That's all I'm going to do. Just spread cheese on top. Put as much cheese as you want. The more cheese, the less healthy it will be. So I'll put the calories and stuff in the description, or I might actually I might start at the end for you guys. Mm. What's it? Calories and protein and stuff. So that's all I need. I thought I think needs a bit of cheese, okay? So it's time to put it in the oven. Okay? Okay guys, so before you guys put it in the oven, sorry guys, before you guys put it in the oven, you're going to turn the oven on, you're going to warm up for about 5 to 10 minutes, just let the oven warm up a little bit. I'm going to put it on gas mark 4, what well, is 180 degrees and you guys have got an electric oven. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up now. I'm going to put it into the oven. I'm going to put it on the middle shelf. So the heat can go all around it. I'm going to close the door. I'm going to leave that for about 40 minutes. Okay? 40 minutes to 45 minutes and that should be done. Okay, so when that's done, I'll come back to you guys and I'll spend a little bit more. So, we have, I'm looking forward to dinner. I hope you guys are. So, we're halfway through cooking, so I thought I'll let you show you guys sort of what it looks like halfway through as we are cooking. So, if I turn the camera around for you, so I've got some of the washing up left on the side, I'll put the cheese away. So, we're going to open the oven. As you can see, it's halfway cooked. So the cheese has started to melt. And it's starting to look very nice and tasty. So that's going to be about 20 minutes. So I'll keep that closed. Okay, so I've kept that cl closed that back up. So just make sure. Just keep checking because you don't want to expose it. But it might be you know, all pens or oven and stuff you got, okay? So it should take about 40 minutes to cook. I'm the, I'm the number gas mark 4 on 180. And I'll get back to you guys when it is done. I'm ready to check out that oven. Hello guys, so it's time to guess out the cheese and cauliflower cheese. Let's call it. So before we do that, we've got to check to make sure that is done. But before I do that, I just want to, sit, I want to just tell you guys to like, subscribe, and turn the notifications on so you guys know when I put a new video up. It's going to be going the same channel what we do all the stuff on, so we thought we could all that together. If you guys can comment down below. What you guys think, how you guys want how you guys want you cooked, and what you guys would like to learn how to cook. 
Well, you guys want to cook sorry, get my words out properly. So, we're going to go over to the other. Have you liked the video? Have you subscribed? Have you set the notifications on? Oh, so for those who have, I'll, uh, I'll get it out for you guys. Okay, so when you had it off there and it's switched on and it's hot, you need a pair of these. Oven gloves. You don't want to take it out. You won't want to take it out because it's going to be really hot and it could burn your fingers. Okay, guys? So we're going to open this. I'm going to put these on. These are already on. Nice and toasty. I'm going to go in the oven. I'm going to be careful about any metal parts. Mm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on there. So here is your cheese and tap pie. Okay, so I like Gav. It's not cheese type boy, it's kind of bad. You I am stretched on okay, your again. grave and I'll lie oh. here forever. Yeah. If your hands were in mine, I'd be sure they would not sever my apple tree, my brightness. It's time we were together. For I smell all the earth and I'm worn by 